Hey guys, how's it going? Ghostly Rich here today, and today we are going to be installing the JKS Drag Link Flip Kit. So, this comes with the flip, so we can flip our steering stabilizer. As you can see that under the vehicle, and we're going to flip it so it's on the other side, less chance of hitting it. The other cool thing is, is we have our parts package. Look at this, they even come with a reamer bit so that way we can drill or a step bit whatever you want to call it so we can drill the part we're going to need to drill later on so first let's get started what i'm going to tell you to do starting with pet your dog come over here if you have a wheel lock you're going to want to break this loose and crack these four lugs right here don't take them out just crack them so as you can see jack just used to lift up there and then right here Jack stand is right beside, right here on the axle between right here and right here. After you have that sitting there, you'll see my tire is not high off the ground. The reason why, you don't want to lift this that high. They're heavy. If you have 35s or 37s or 40s. Measure from right here to the center of this bolt. Right here. Just make sure you get the center of it. I wouldn't do it right here because the other one might be thicker right here. And if it is then you're going to have problems if you measure to there. So measure from center of bolt to right here and make sure when you're done and you're sinking that in, that is the measurement you have. 21 mil right here. Try loosening it with your ratchet. If it doesn't want to come, I highly suggest some liquid penetration. Go ahead and soak that bolt in a bunch of it. Um, you might want to put a bucket here to catch it, whatever you want to do. Uh, but just make sure that you, uh, have something to catch it because it will get everywhere and if it still doesn't want to come have your breaker bar ready my bolt came right off didn't need anything else on it it was wicked i lucked out be careful though because mine came off so quick the nut was actually really hot so if yours doesn't and this starts spinning you'll look on the top here there's an allen key so what you'll have to do is actually put a box wrench on here once you loosen it if you're lucky and then what you'll do is with the box wrench going, you're holding it with an Allen key in the top. Uh, for me, I didn't need to do that. Hopefully you won't need to either. But if you do, you do. Next thing you want to do is take your hammer. Love taps. Once you hit it with the right number, what will end up happening is you'll have this happen. It'll just drop. It'll literally, like I said, you'll go, oh my gosh, it's going to break. Then you'll hit it one more time. And then you'll go, you know what? I don't even care anymore. And you'll smack it really hard and literally it'll drop. Now that we have it down to here, we will loosen up here. And so we can unscrew it and get it out. Last chance, if you haven't measured it yet, measure it. Just loosen it. Don't pull that bolt out all the way. And then literally just start twisting it around. It takes two hands. Just hold it with one and screw with the other. If you want a handle while doing this, just clip of ice grip on the flat side. Another thing, don't loosen off this side. I didn't, but I just figured I better mention it just in case someone tries to, because if you do, then it'll come off from here and then you have another adjustment, right? So I would suggest just this one right here. And like I said, just start going off there. Next, right here with the provided, you'll see it says seven eighths on the biggest size. You're gonna just go right here and don't let that get in your eyes. Just like that. We made sure the 7 8 bit is passed completely through there. Just lift it out and clean this off. Vacuum it up if you so wish. Take this tapered collar right here, well not so much tapered, and what you're going to do is try and line it up as straight as possible, and then take that lovely blow hammer and slowly tap it in. Just get it aligned first. You want this to go in straight if you can. And then once you get down there, make sure she's sitting flush. Voila! At one point it started going a little bit of an angle. It's alright. I just hammered it in. She sits flush. Like I said, just make sure she's sitting flush at the very end. After we've got that, now, we're going to thread in, just like you just removed, the other. If you're going to be sitting on your work area, make sure you clean it up. I still haven't fully vacuumed. You don't want splinters in your bum. I measured it. We are, from this collar 
to right here, just like I was before, 30 and 3 quarter. Again, from right here to my post is 30 and 3 quarter. For you, if you would have measured from there to your post, you just need to make sure that measurement is the same. If you go to start screwing on, you're like, oh man, what the heck? At 30 and 3 quarter, I'm way over here. Grab your uh, steering here and push back on it and you'll see the whole track bar move over. Make sure you check your steering wheel inside uh, and make sure it indicates the way your tires are pointing if they weren't completely straight before. Grab this one out of here. You'll see there's only one that's 9 16 So grab it out, slip it on, slip the nut on. Next thing we're gonna need is our torque wrench. Used a wobble extension, put the socket on first and clicked in the wobble. And as you can see, 63 pounds of torque was added and it clicks. Next thing we're gonna do, loosen off your track bar. 21 inch bolt. Really funky looking bolt and the funky looking washer. Get it out, you might think it's rubbing up against your, grab a pry bar or whatever you want, lift it up, it'll come right out. You see, nice and free. Don't let it turn or anything, just leave it where it's at. Next thing you're gonna do is grab that flip bracket and we're gonna just line it up on here and see how it looks. Pass these two three eighths small ones with the washer, sink them in there. You're gonna use that just, you can't get the nut yet, but just do this, slip them in. After you do that, you see these bolts are the same size as this one. Grab one of these big bad boys and just, you're gonna have to just play with the bracket, wiggle it around, and slip it in there. But trust me, it's a lot easier to wiggle it around like this than it is without those two three eighths in there. Just make sure they don't pop out like this one's starting to do. The center bolt's being really fun. So what I'm gonna do is release this one first. So just grab your 18 millimeter and loosen off this bolt. As that bolt touches the front link here, just grab it with your hand, twist it up, and then you can pull it out just like that. And now, wiggle this out of the way. If you want to, you can loosen this because this is gonna be mo getting moved over in a second here. But what we want to do is just bend this down for now, get in here and put your other washer and nut on. When you go to put in that center bolt, don't forget your sleeve. The sleeve goes in behind and you just slide it in between. And see, watch this. And then now you put in your big bolt, which will slip through both of those. Now, thing is, when you go to put it through, if this is too tight, there's a method that you can do. That is, you go to put this bolt in. As you're going in, you put one really big nut on the end, and you suck that in. And then you grab another really big nut, and you put it on the other side, and you suck it in. And then what you're going to do is have this nut pressed up against this wall that's over here, which is the back, and then this wall you're going to suck in uh, or to this wall. So this one's against this wall, this is against this wall. We're going to use these ratchets as the walls. So as, after you tighten this bolt, and it's over here, and this one's over here, you're going to slowly crank this and it's going to pull the wall away. You don't have to do anything with this one just basically leave it and if you can put a ratchet on this end and then what you're going to do is as you separate the two nuts it's going to widen it to help you slide that sleeve in between there make sure you take that 14 mil it just sneaks in right there for that one and then you have to kind of work it around the other bolt and then stick it on there and just like that then you can tighten those two down again 40 and then the big one is 22 on the back just slip it in from the back and then tighten this one down to 125. Akbar is sitting up here we're not going to mess with this yet. Loosen this bolt don't have to completely take it out just loosen it. Once that is flipped up and out of the way get under your vehicle see that opening right here this is where your u-bolt goes so just line it up with those two holes and then, once you get it lined up and sitting like this, put the washer and two nuts on it. The ones that you want are these little 3 8 nylocks. Just, uh, again, slide that up just like we just did. Put these two on and then put those two on. When you're tightening up these U-bolt, or this U-bolt, 
make sure you rotate back and forth. So do like 10 turns on this one, 10 turns on that one, 10 turns on this one. And as you get tighter, you're going to do like two to three, two to three. And that way it's balanced when you go to go onto it. You don't want it to be like super high on one side and like three on the other. So make sure that you're rotating back and forth as you tighten those two bolts and then finish it off with tightening it to 40 foot pounds. So had Mika check and both those back bolts back there are now at 40 or the U-joint again, after you get that U-bolt, not U-joint, uh, tightened, like I said, you balance it equally. And then I ended up, after I had about the same amount of threads, crank this side till it was at 40, crank that side till it was at 40, and they both clicked around the same, we're all good. Next thing to do is let's get this steering stabilizer in so that way we can get the wheel back on so we can get our track bar aligned. So, I used the stock hardware because mine was already using stock hardware, so I put it there. If you have like the Fox shock or anything like that, make sure you use the provided hardware that they give you with the two, or well, with the washer and the bolt. And as you can see here, uh, we loosened this bolt off and we added a washer here. Then it's the shock and then another washer here and then tighten down. And what that'll do is, it's hard to see the other washer, there it is. It's a silver one, it's kind of squishing into the rivet, but it's washer, shock absorber, washer, there. And it's steering stabilizer, but it's just a shock absorber pretty much. So from this point, we're gonna put our, you're gonna crank this one down after we've rotated obviously, and it's in a good position. So crank that bolt down, crank that bolt down, and crank that bolt down. Um, after we've done that, we're gonna go ahead, put the tire back on and drop the vehicle back onto its own feet. Because after we do that, we gotta line up our track bar again. Go ahead and tighten these all on finger tight. And then after you do that, go ahead, put your safety on. And then you're gonna do a star pattern tighten. Start here, to here, to here, to here, to here. And then just keep going until the wheel starts to rotate after it does. Leave it because we're going to drop the vehicle down. Once your tire's on the ground, look at your track bar. You'll notice that it won't be centered right away. What you'll have to do is go into your vehicle, turn the wheel, the steering wheel, and you'll see as you turn it, it'll line up depending which way you turn it. So you can see I turned it so the wheels went that way. As if I were turning to the right. After I did that, now that it's lined up, slide the bolt in. Don't forget, it goes bolt, washer, go through, then washer bolt, or nut. Well, that's about it. Check all your torque specs, so check that one. These two are kind of blocked now, but you already checked them. Let's just go around and make sure that they're all done. At this point, you can uh, start your Jeep. Make sure your steering centers. If for some reason you look at it or you're like, oh man, this is definitely off. I'll give you a couple pointers on measuring it. What? Are you against it? She's pooped. All that hard work. Anyways, so just make sure she's centered. If it's not centered, uh, what you'll have to do is adjust this collar. What you'll do that time is release both these bolts and then you'll move the whole collar. And what'll happen is as you move the collar, it will bring the tires over and whatnot uh, to try and center. And again, you'd center your steering wheel and then you would adjust. But before you do anything, just make sure you try to center your steering wheel um, the best you can. And don't worry, it's not really gonna, it won't why your steering, if you know what I mean. Like that's what this one does that we didn't even touch today. This is a whole nother project. This is just to align your steering wheel with your tires so that way it stays straight when the steering wheel is straight. So if you notice that you're pulling in either direction, like I said, loosen off those two bolts that are up here and then tighten it in and then you'll see the difference on the steering wheel. Um, if this loosens out, it'll push this tire out. If you tighten it, it pulls it in. So if you're tracking to your right which is that way if you're tracking to the right then you're going to want to tighten it and if you're tracking to the left you're going to want to loosen it if that makes sense and then after you're done 
torque wrench, tighten these up to 25 foot pounds. All in all, not a hard project, just a little time consuming. As you can see, I already have the JKS track bar, which is I did during my other install. This is actually not a factory steering stabilizer. This one right here is made by Old Man Emu, but I modified it to work without their drop bracket. I ended up being out by like an eighth of a turn. It was ridiculous. So I went to drive down the road and I was like, ah, I'm pulling just a little bit. So what I did is I drove into the driveway at the position I felt comfortable was straight. And then what I did is I loosened the two bolts off. And then after you loosen, loosen, you can just turn this by hand and then you watch your steering wheel. So you go to your steering wheel and wait until as you tighten this, you'll see your steering wheel moving left and right. And you want to just balance it right into the center and then crank your bolts down, go for another drive and it should be good from there. Anyways, Thought I'd quickly throw that in there. And remember, after you're done, crank these down to 26 foot pounds so that way it isn't going to start trying to unwind or do anything on you while you're driving around town. I think that's about it, eh? Other than that, press like if it helped you out and subscribe for more. Other than that, I would rate this product very high. All the hardware is really good quality, even came with torque specs in the manual. So if you didn't catch one of the ones I said, just look at uh, the paperwork that comes with it. Um, I pretty much would say that anyone could do this with a drill and a socket set. Really, it's not that hard. They give you everything, including that uh, step bit, which is amazing. And you're going to use on other projects, I guarantee you. Thanks again for watching. Have a good night.